All right, everyone, welcome back to part two of producing an RSBNB update episode. Uh, in this part, we will be going through adding in our closing and opening music, recording the intro, exporting out to MP3, and then doing the appropriate steps to upload it to Libsyn and publish the show. So as you can see here, we just finished importing the opening and closeout music. The opening music was created by Alex, Alex Tomo's brother's band, uh, I think around episode 100. And the closeout music was recorded by Devo338 on the forum, so thank them for that. Now, what we need to do in order to record the opening, as you guys hear it, whenever an episode starts, is first off we need to create a new session that will hold the uh, finished version of the show rather than just the editing workspace that we've been using before. So from that we start with recording the usual clip that you hear at the start of every RSBNB update episode including the episode number and the oh so creative title that we give it. So now we record the opening and here we go. This is RSBNB Update, episode 172. Okay, you'll notice I, I kind of clipped the audio here, meaning I went over the boundary, so we just restart now. This is RSBNB Update, episode 172, recorded Friday, October 3rd, 2008. Rudy Giuliani. So with that, we preview the part that we just recorded to make sure it's exactly what we want. And then after that, it's just a simple matter of trimming away the excess that didn't make it into the final cut. And then we just uh, yank this back. And then now it comes time to position it in line with the actual opening music. So normally, if you were to count this, I know it normally starts between 10 and 12 seconds in when I start talking with the title. That's that's what I do. I am doing here, just positioning that up and then aligning it. Now I'm going to take a look at the envelopes, which basically is a w fancy way of saying we're going to fade out the opening music just a tad so it's not going over over my voice for this uh, title description. And then as you can see I take it down to about minus 15.3 dB. It totally depends on of course what, what uh, song you are using in the end. And then, of course, after that, just uh, take a look at it and preview it to see exactly what it will sound like for the final version. So now we are going to complete the same process as we did it for the intro. Now with the closing music, as you can see here, we bring it in to have a bit of a overlap for when I just wrapping up the last segment of the show and then again tone it down a bit just to make sure that we're not going overly too loud so that's sort of the cue to the listener that yes y yay you've accomplished another episode of rsbnb update L time to start looking forward to next week's again at update.rsbnb.com and again we just preview it make sure it doesn't sound too odd and then uh, we move on towards to trim off the closeout music because the closeout music is about a minute too long for what we'd like. So on to that now. So now I've already trimmed off the extra minute of closeout that we don't need but now right now you can see I'm adding in a logarithmic fade out which basically eases the volume down from full volume over a logarithmic scale to a gradual fade out at the end which if you listen to the full show you'll see that that's what you hear at the end rather than just a complete fade out or a complete cut off you hear a gradual logarithmic fade out so with the majority of the post production finished now we're going to just export it out as a 64 kilobit mp3 which gives us the best uh, audio quality for our voices and it still provides a decent quality for the opening and close out music so we'll just uh, speed through this right now
So with the mix down complete of the entire show, it's now time to take the show and import it into iTunes where we will add the ID3 tag data. Basically what ID3 tags do is they allow your MP3 player to organize tracks in uh, more ways than just the file name and uh, duration. If you look at any MP3 file you'll have, you'll notice it's got stuff like uh, album name, title, artist, album title, etc. So that's what we're going to add right now. Genre is very important with ours as well. So that's what we use iTunes to add. So in iTunes you're going to uh, we click the get info button then enter in our data like this episode's name was RSBNB update 172 Rudy Giuliani after that uh, Pokemon that we had to uh, create so we add that in uh, put whoever was on the show in this case me and Brad and then the album title RSBNB update October 2008 then we are going to stick in a podcast tab this will tag that will help uh, other mp3 players recognize it as a podcast and then of course the most important thing we want to add is the album artwork which is what you'll see in your iPod or other mp3 player device so there we have it that's a complete version of the show that's ready to be uploaded to Libsyn now alright everyone here you can see we're looking at WordPress I jumped right to WordPress here because I didn't feel comfortable showing the exact process for uploading and uh, logging into the CMS so that part has been removed but trust me you're not missing much in that respect. So what you see here is a complete uh, show notes page. I'm just filling in the little teaser description as we call it. It's sort of a rundown on what happens on the show. So now it's time to insert the pre-made uh, links to what we talked about, otherwise known as the actual show notes, what we talked about uh, below the rest of the text here. So we're just going to plop that down right now and then head off to the custom fields. These custom fields are what we use to populate the RSS feed because by default WordPress doesn't enable iTunes podcasting. So we have to fill out these fields manually for each show. For each show that we do we fill out the duration, the actual location to the audio file on Libsyn, the file size and bytes of the mp3, uh, the host names, and then the link to the forums topic because this is also used in uh, the iTunes RSS file. Then of course there's the teaser which is a less than 255 character little blob that we put in so people can read about the show on iTunes if they're deciding to download it and they're not subscribed already. So from this stage it's just a simple matter of pressing the publish button and then transferring what we posted in this topic or rather a summary of it into a forum topic on the forums for our form based listener listeners and then basically after that the RSS file is updated and then within 12 to 6 hours your iTunes will update and download the new file directly to you I hope you've enjoyed this series as to how an episode of RSBNB update gets put together see you next time everyone